What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and in this short video we're going to be going over two pro tips on how to have successful large epoxy projects. So what I mean by large epoxy projects is something that you're going to be pouring tens of gallons of epoxy into, something that you don't want to mess up. I'm talking about a large tabletop, a conference table, something to that effect. Okay? So these are going to be two pro tips that you don't want to miss. Tip number one. This is tip number one. Do you see this old beat up thing right here? I mean, it's all falling apart. It does not matter. This is a used AC window unit. Now, I use this on the the big dining room table that I'm pouring, that I'm building at the moment. If you haven't seen those videos, I'm gonna link them up right here. But this is an old window unit and this was vital to having a successful pour. And the reason is, is it blows cold, dry air over the top of the, of the slab. And what we're gonna do, or what we did do, which I'll show you here in this clip. So what we did was we turned the AC unit on and had it blowing across the surface until it started to set up. That way it didn't overheat, we didn't get bubbles, we didn't get cracks, anything of the sort. It actually turned out really, really well. Um, and so that tip alone helped save this project we also had it blowing the entire time on it, but I will say we came in about 12 hours later after being poured to make the swirls. Tip number two. Tip number two is a really, it's kind of like a new tip for 2020 because um, I've seen a few people do this, but not very many people. And this slab needs it, okay? Come over here. If you look right here, Right here is some soft wood. If you can see, I can put my fingernail right into it, right there, you see that? It's soft, it's kind of like rotten, uh, punky wood. And, and tip number two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our casting epoxy. We're gonna use our Incredible Solutions casting epoxy, and we're gonna do a seal coat slash flood coat. We're not gonna do a flood coat like we do a tabletop epoxy. We're gonna do a seal coat over this entire thing and it's gonna to continue to soak in. Because it's a slow setting epoxy, it gives it enough time to soak in to this punky wood and stabilize it, okay? So tip number two is we're gonna use casting epoxy to stabilize our lumber. All right guys, so we're gonna mix up and get ready for this seal slash stabilizing coat. We're using our Incredible Solutions Pourable Plastic. We're gonna do, it's a two to one mixture. As you see, the jugs are different sizes. So it's two parts epoxy, one part hardener. And we're gonna go ahead and mix them. We're gonna do 16 ounces of the hardener. And then we're gonna, <laughs> what's 16? What's 48 minus 16? 48 minus uh, 16, it gotta be uh, 32. Yep. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna do 16 ounces of hardener and 32 ounces of resin for 48 ounces total. All right, let's get to pouring.
stop it now. All right, guys, we are done doing our seal coat. And look at how pretty this slab is. Oh my word. Look at this thing. Look at all the figure in the wood. You see that punky area? We got it filled up. So it'll soak in all that epoxy and make it nice and strong. And uh, man, but look at all these cool holes. Like you can see through it over here. Right? You can see. You can see through it right there. Look at this like lagoon area. Super cool. This thing is beautiful. Man, this thing is super legit. All right. <laughs> what was going on? Going out, man. I'm Working out. Viewer. Yeah. Um, is Leon? He is a good viewer. Yeah, I did the um good view song. That's right. Oh yeah. What did you do? You dropped all, you dropped that awesome beat. Yeah. 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 yeah no, definitely. Um, happy to be here, man. Be here. Yeah. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm going to link the videos to the building of this table at the end of this video. Um, these two pro tips are definitely going to help you guys have successful projects. And that's my goal here is to help you guys do something like this. So if you want to have a $8,000 dining room table made in a tiny shop, obviously this shop is big, but I'm only using a very small section of it. You guys can do it too at home. And that's all I want to do is help you guys be successful. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor though. All of the materials and stuff that we talked about, I'm going to link them down in the description of this video. And I want you guys to go click it and get whatever you need. <clears throat> guys, thank you for watching. Um, I have another video coming out next Friday. My goal is to try to have a video coming out every Friday. Um, so you guys be ready for that. And as always guys, thanks for hanging out with us.